Hey, hey, all you minties, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and join me today as I look at some recent trades from Marvel Comics, so please stay tuned. And before I get started, a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us advanced copies of these books. And I say advanced because this video was originally supposed to come out on Monday, but I've had internet issues. Hopefully it's going to get fixed today. And honestly, these, this video probably would have gotten lost in all the omnibus, the omni getting part two uh, videos that I was doing. And there's still more of those to come. But I know that a lot of you all only get trade paperbacks or also get trades. So of course I have to show you all some love. Now we've got an epic collection here. I think this one here, though, the X-Men Avengers Onslaught has been pushed back until next week. So the week of the 30th, if I'm not mistaken, as well as this epic collection. So I'll be talking about this one next week. So that's one thing to keep in mind as far as these, these are already released. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll be looking at Avengers first. Let's go ahead and get this opened. So Heroes Reborn, Avengers. I think I called it Avengers Heroes Reborn, but it's the other way around. This is a brand new printing of this storyline. And this takes place after Onslaught. So I'll talk about Onslaught here in a little while. But after some of the heroes, some of our classic Marvel heroes get sent into the image creator's universe or the heroes reborn universe as it is probably known to a lot of people so let's see here we have rob liefeld writing a lot of this stuff jeff Loeb eventually joining him and then of course you have art by rob liefeld and you have art by chap yap who was the other kind of big gun during the extreme years of image comics here's rob liefeld reimagining the avengers for this particular storyline including removing the a don't worry he gets it back later on remember a lot of people com uh, compare that to the wonder woman emblem but it's just a reimagining of your favorite characters but it's all done by rob liefeld and like i mentioned he's joined by um, jeff Loeb. there's a mystery with that character right there so this how this edition right here is a little bit different than the previous editions that have come out there's been an omnibus and that collects everything all of this in here this one collects Avengers 1 through 12, like I mentioned, the 1996 reimagining of these characters. Oh, I forgot Ian Churchill also joins. Uh, also collecting Iron Man 6 and 12, Fantastic Four number 12, and Captain America number 12. And then material from Fantastic Four 6 and Captain America 6. So it includes all the crossovers if you just want to get Avengers. So if you don't want to buy the Fantastic Four by Jim Lee or Iron Man by Wills Portacio, you can buy, speaking of Wills Portacio, that's him right here. You can just get this book that just focuses on Avengers. What it doesn't collect, that I'm sure everyone's going to ask me, Ian Churchill, I swear his designs, um, is does it collect issue 13? And no, of course it doesn't. None of these collections have ever collected issue 13 because issue 13 was the one that was known to cross over with the Wildstorm characters. Ryan Benjamin is also found in here. He's one of the artists in here. And I forgot Jim Valentino also plots some of this stuff, as well as Jim Lee, of course, because he was doing Iron Man. Flip a little more through here. And this book has 496 pages and retails for $44.99. It is a huge book. Let's look in the back here for some extras. So you have promotional artwork by Rob Liefeld. And Liefeld mainly stayed on Captain America, him and Jeff Loeb. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is a interview with Rob Liefeld, some designs of the characters, original art page, and then the 2015 Mighty Thor variant cover, so Heroes Reborn, and then this is the Heroes uh, The Return in trade paperback. There's also an omnibus that I've done an overview of, of that book. Moving on to X-Men Avengers Onslaught. This is volume two, and I will be showing the spines here in a little bit for all you spine watchers. Is that the term? I don't know. I'm making it a term. So this is volume two, and volume one is right there. This continues the saga of the X-Men onslaught. I gotta be careful not to reveal any spoilers as to who Onslaught is or what he's done, even though these stories are old. So this crossover event throughout the pages of Marvel Comics started in the pages of X-Men. And it went through all Marvel Comics in the year 1990. Like, they started, as soon as Age of Apocalypse was over, they started hinting at this Onslaught crossover event. And then throughout 1996, I think it was the summer 96, is when this happened. Then, of course, the ramifications of this was the Heroes Reborn universe. And I just talked a little bit about that. 
And I think that's pretty much all I can say about that in, without giving any spoilers or without going deep into details because there is a lot of things to talk about. Oh, I love this series. Uh, Scott McDaniel originally drew this uh, Green Goblin series and there is a trade paperback collecting the entire Green Goblin series. It was so short-lived, which is a shame because it was really solid. So this collects Cable 34 and 35, Incredible Hulk 444 and 445, which is the big clash between Cable and Hulk, and then Apocalypse gets involved. It's got Wolverine 104, X-Factor 125 and 126, Amazing Spider-Man 416, Green Goblin number 12, Spider-Man 72, X-Man, not X-Men, but X-Man, number 18 and 19. I believe this is what we're looking at here. No, this is X-Force. This is Jeff Loeb's X-Force now. Uh, X-Men, number 55, Uncanny X-Men 336, X-Force 57 and 58, and Iron Man 332. So there will be one more volume of this that sh just ends everything. This was collected in an omnibus format. It's been collected in a series of trade paperbacks before, and I think there's even a milestone, but no, there is. But this is the newer, more complete thick trades from Marvel. And there is Joe Mad's artwork. Hopefully one day we will get Joe Mad in omnibus format. I love to own those orphaned issues that he drew for Uncanny X-Men. And let's see here. Let's go a little. And then we have, of course, Ian Churchill. As I mentioned, the fight between Hulk, Apocalypse, and Cable. Let's look in the back for some extras. Here's the Marvel Retailer catalog. I think this is Luke Ross who drew that. And, of course, the inside articles here as to what Onslaught is or who he was and what led to him. Some more articles in there, interviews with Ian Churchill, uh, the Trader Exposed, and then the Complete Ben Riley Epic, Volume 5. Not an epic collection, that's just what it was called. And of course, all the X-Men milestones back here. The book retails for $39.99 and has 448 pages. And for all you spine watchers out there, here you go. Pause it here, don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. Good time to remind you all. Moving on to Jane Foster Valkyrie Volume 2. I I don't know if this is true or not. Here's Volume 1. But someone told me that this was supposed to be canceled. I think people have been emailing me, asking me. And I don't know. Because I know, I think it continued digitally. So I hope it continues. Because I'm really enjoying this run. So it's co-written by Al Ewing and Jason Aaron. But they're also joined by, oh my goodness, this lady right here. Torun... Gronbeck, who has, first of all, an amazing name, and is a pretty good writer. Apparently, her name means Thunder something, if I'm not mistaken. Please let me know in the comments down below, and also apologies for butchering that name. So, this title is a little bit of a spoiler, because we know the new Valkyrie is Jane Foster, in case you didn't know, um, but... I mean, I can't, there's only so much spoilers that I can do with, this is on the title. So just showing off some of this wonderful artwork here from Pere Perez and Kafu is also in here. Been a while since I've seen Cardiac, so can't flip too much through here. But let's look at some of the extras in the back and then talk about how many issues this contains. So this contains issues 6 through 10 of Valkyrie, 112 pages. Let's look here. Here's some variant covers. And retails for $15.99. Really like that one there. That's Is that Peach Momoko? Man, she is doing variants for everything. And then the weapons and costumes designs by Kafu. Again, this one retails for $15.99. And here we have the Avengers West Coast Epic Collection, Volume 3, The Tales to Astonish. I love the name. Quicksilver, by the way. Al Milgram. We'll talk about him in a minute. But here it is. Avengers West Coast. <laughs> which is not what the titles that are in here are known as at the time. Because they are West Coast Avengers. But then it gets renamed as of issue 42. Really quick. If you own the three Omnibus. So you have Avengers West Coast 1 and 2. Or West Coast Avengers rather. Omnibus Volumes 1 and 2. And then the John Byrne Avengers. This is not collected in there. This is Emperor Doom. It's a graphic novel by Marvel Comics. It kicks off with the Purple Man. 
and who is the one person that the well there's several people in the in the comics but one of the people that the purple man cannot manipulate is of course dr doom so he's using him as a means to an end to of course he has a master plan this one here is written by david michelini and it's drawn by i think bob hall is the writer on it but that's how this kicks off this is collected, however, in the Judgment Day Epic Collection, the Avengers Epic Collection Judgment Day, if you have that. But if you have the two, um, the three Omniboot, it's not collected in there. That's how they get you. So you can buy the Epic Collections. You should anyway, because the Epics are great. So here's the cover to Judgment Day, the trade paperback, where that Emperor Doom is collected. Here's the Giant Size West Coast Annual Number 2, which is where the Grandmaster comes in and kidnaps everybody. To pit them against the Avengers. So this is a crossover between the Avenger, West Coast Avengers Annual 2 and then Avengers Annual Number 16. And this one's a little interesting because I remember this fight, yes, between Dr. Druid and Dracula. Love when Dracula appeared in modern comics. So let's keep going and talk about what the contents of this particular volume are. So Volume 3 collects issues 25 through 37 of West Coast Avengers. And as I mentioned, the name will change to Avengers West Coast later on when John Byrne takes over the book. I think it's issue 42 or so. So speaking of that, oh, it's the return of the Zodiac. I, I, I really like this story. Um, so speaking of that, I'm surprised they didn't go all the way to 41 with this because that's where the second omnibus ends and literally the next epic would have been nothing but john byrne but you know what they've mapped these years ahead of time so they know what they're doing i don't and there is the shroud so there's the shroud tigra by now moon knight is in here um and then it also collects so let's go back to what else it collects i forgot where i was west coast avengers annual number two avengers annual 16 and then the marvel graphic novel emperor doom and most of the issues in here are drawn by Al Milgram. And I know Al Milgram really splits people into two groups, right? You have the people that love Al Milgram, that grew up with him, a lot of nostalgia. And then you have the people that are like, gross, Al Milgram. I don't, I, no, okay, I guess there's three people because I always thought Al Milgram was okay. It's not like he was stellar or anything, but I really, you know, I enjoyed his art and I appreciated the fact that he was fast so he kept a monthly schedule so he could just whip these out all these pages out so i was you know indifferent i was never i know some of my friends were like dude what is wrong with you al milgram is mainly because of a uh, kitty and wolverine miniseries that cover's awesome actually isn't there a composite avenger story in here if i'm not mistaken during this time i remember rereading these in my omnibus so i'm pretty sure there is there's that creepy, okay, that is a creepy uh, Quicksilver, but that is what they're going for. I knew there was a composite Avenger story in here, because I remember that cover, because it's pretty ridiculous. All right, let's look at the extras here in the back. This book retails for $39.99 and has 456 pages. So it looks like you have the original cover of the graphic novel here, or I'm sorry, this is the second printing, the Avengers West Coast Zodiac premiere hardcover. And then the Avengers West Coast Zodiac Attack premiere hardcover. And that, as they say, is that. Now you can get these trades from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the contents and page counts of each of these books. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you're picking up. If you're a fan of the Epic Collections and you're just getting Avengers West Coast, if you like these big, thick books, have you read Valkyrie? It is so good. I hope it comes back. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion. I'd love to know all those comments down below. Again, please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Those are great ways to support the channel if you can do so. And thank you to our existing patrons. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love to all of you.